The Dragon Bow Festival Grand Parades are held in Jiujiajiao. The most anticipated activity is the famous boat boxing. But, having been popular for centuries in southern China, the sport is gradually disappearing. Ding Yuchun is sad to see that only a few masters remain. Ding was born in Jiujiajiao in 1942. He's practiced boat boxing for over 40 years and is the only remaining master in Xingfu District. In 2011, just after his 70th birthday, Ding sold his house in downtown Shanghai to set up the Southern Martial Arts Academy in Jiujiajiao in order to teach boat boxing. He Lei has practiced martial arts since childhood and is a graduate of the Martial Arts Academy. Having studied boat boxing for over a year, he is Ding's first disciple in decades. Ding's planning to teach him everything he knows. Ding explains that boatmen practice boxing to keep fit and protect their boats. The special features of boat boxing can only be shown on board a boat. Ding asks a friend to find a fishing boat so he can perform. <laughs> the Wu Dynasty Navy had compulsory boxing training for sailors. Their skill helped defeat General Cao Cao in one of the most important battles in Chinese history. After a period of war, defeated sailors settled along the Yangtze River and combined their skills with local techniques to create boat boxing. During the Ming and Qing dynasties, it developed to create these short and powerful movements. Pillars of Meihua plum style belongs to Shaolin Kung Fu. According to Zhu Jiao records, in the early Qing dynasty, a Shaolin monk escaped to Zheng Jiadai village and was taken good care of by the villagers. He combined the pillars of Meihua plum style techniques with southern boat boxing and taught the villagers who used it on boats. This is how Zhu Jiao got its unique style of boat boxing. To better show the crew this style of martial arts, Ding puts 20 metal rings on his arms. He explains that this is an ancient weapon called iron wire that is strong both for offense and defense. With practice, it can help improve one's kung fu skills. Besides the boxing, He Lei has recently been learning to use a unique weapon called the Buffalo Horn Spear. It was invented by Zhu Jiao boatmen and can only be found here. Uh全国的都拿过七八块钱来。什么？就就就这个兵器一抽烟，那肯定是拿牌。哦。哎，人家看都看不懂，拿来一看，哦，这么重啊。
啊，都好像是平常稀罕。您您现在还玩得动这个吗？呃，能动，但是动手用这个蒸兵器的话，那是动手的要少多，要要慢了，要慢得多。那现在现在您徒弟呢？呃，徒弟也能，也不能像古代人一样杀得这么快，啊。啊，杀这个，哎。好，你慢一点啊，这微风破水是吧？微风破水是左右勾，左右左右那个就像风一样的，在来回来回勾，是吧？把所有所有的兵器都勾到旁边去了，再把你勾到身边，再把你推出去，把你跳起来，这个叫猛虎跳，猛牛跳虎。嗯。如果你地方那个地方比较大大猛勇的，你碰到这个恐怕也没有说气场了，嗯、是吧？<笑> The spear weighs 15 kilograms and he'll lay tires quickly. He decides to change to a lighter version. Jiu Jiu Jiao has been the home of boat boxing for centuries, and it is the birthplace of the buffalo horn spear. How were these created and passed down? The town still hides many secrets. This is Jujajiao boat boxing. Jujajiao was formed during the Song and Ming dynasties. It is the doorway to the Grand Canal. People transporting cotton, rice, or oil had to pass through here. Because of this, Jiao quickly gained importance in the Yangtze River Delta trade. Businessmen from Jiangsu, Zhejiang, and Shanghai came here to ask for the price of rice. Up to two million kilograms could be traded in a single day. One can only imagine the scene of thousands of businessmen and ships. The中国的米价没有定，然后上海的米价就看着我们，看一看猪价角的米价出来多少钱一斤，然后他们再定下来上海出售多少钱一斤，因为为什么是这样呢？因为粮食我都是我们这里用过去的，如果我们今天三天不
，四九年五零年出，我们这个呃大全县少我的几百个，其中有五六个高手，都能飞钢叉，而且在表演的时候能把钢叉飞过放松桥，这个刚才沙啦啦啦沙啦啦有声音的，而且要身上滚，啊，滚的时候要抛起来，还能记住，不要去过桥了，现在女的站在那个地上。要把它记住在地上危险的。哦，人刚插这个就慢慢就失传了。失传了。There are over thirty bridges across the Saogong River. The most famous is the Fengsheng Bridge, where Ding's master performed. More than four hundred years ago, the abbot of Yuanjin Temple begged alms with his disciple. They built this five-arch bridge. It's the biggest in southern China. This Jiangnan Wugong Fengsheng Bridge, it's so big, it's very wide. You can see why we need a bridge. Because the old tradition is too long. The three bridges are not enough. So he needs a bridge. It shows that the Ming dynasty is a bit of a mess. Here, the Cao River is the Cao Bang originating river. It can cross the Yangtze River and cross the Jinhang River. 直接可以把粮食、江南的大米通过船运送到北京。所以说，我们庙里的法师觉明和姓曹的两位老和尚、老前辈，向社会募捐了十三年，而且这个放生桥也修了十三年。During the Dragon Boat Festival parade, the bridge is packed with people who want to see the boat boxing. Zhu Zhijiao used to belong to Songjiang Prefecture and the opposite bank to Suzhou. Fengsheng Bridge provided a platform for boat boxing and helped to promote trade between the two prefectures. As business thrived, more ships filled the river and someone had to protect them. Boxing masters began providing escorts for the boats it was common for the masters to test each other's skills. One time, they came to the village, and also a village leader. He was a big leader. He was able to get him to get him. He was able to get him to get him. He was able to get him to get him. He was able to get him to get him to get him. He was able to get him to get him. He was able to get him to get him. 他说：“你买什么东西啊？哦，买当夫人。呃，这个当夫人好不好？啊，你你看好不好？我给你看一下。嗯，啪，给他了。我讲的，他姓侯的，那到时候你啪一用劲，就变成粉了，变灰了。哟，他功夫，这个不是一点点功夫啊。他这个手上能把这厉害多了。你把这个凹的，他把这个两个灰，哦哟，这要要要请教一下他们哈，给给给把下风，他们就走了。”那么这个人呢，就唯一这个村上的这个全是叫郑乐器，那么人家就不叫他名字，叫他五娘会了。哦，这么就这么一代一代一代传下来，搞到最后他的名字都不知道，所以这就叫五娘会。In times of war, boatmen not only protected themselves but also the goods they transported, making weapons a necessity. But the big boat boxing organizations drew the mistrust of the Ming and Qing governments. In the early Qing dynasty, officials took strict precautions, forbidding people to hide metal weapons. So the boatmen made spear-like weapons using water buffalo horns. Why do they use this bull as a weapon? This bull. 大家，呃，这我们古代有句成语，初生之牛犊不怕虎，那他一个小牛老虎他不怕，牛犊呢又不是光全面的，光和乖的，他是不主动去侵略人家。如果有人要侵略，那我也不客气，你只有老虎我也顶你一下。这个牛角是我们光江南水乡的一般的水牛，这个这牛角是一个水牛上面配套的。第一个，有人是光和乖的，不是什什么水牛都好用。这个水牛正好是配套，水牛还得挑，挑那也挑，不是什么脚都能用。水牛脚也有有弯的非常厉害的，弯的弯的非常厉害的，有的卷的也有
，啊，这是第一点，我们这里的水泥都是往户外的。Ding has trained kung fu for decades, and he collects old weapons that he keeps in a house in the town. Ding has spent over ten years making the eighteen weapons according to ancient references. Here we learn about the real ancient spears. Ding says he was born here and began training martial arts at just seven years old. That's 60 years ago now. He spent the last decades doing two things, training and earning money. This year he sold his company of 20 years so he could afford to buy the weapons chamber. He says that from now on he'll concentrate on doing what he enjoys most. Performances at river parades and real boat boxing. This is Juja Jiao boat boxing. During the Ming and Qing dynasties, merchants would rest in Juja Jiao as their cargo was transferred. The North Street has many tea shops and restaurants. There's also a dazzling variety of snacks. To attract the merchants, locals came up with all kinds of snacks to suit every taste. Along the old North Street, there are many old shops. Flagstone roads reveal the ancient style and show traces of the changing times. This post office, built in 1903, replaced the ancient relay stations and signified the end of the boat boxing escort agencies. The old town isn't the only choice for people here anymore. Many have new homes in the new district. In the future, the old town may be a mere memory, and boat boxing only a legend. Before the Dragon Boat Festival, the boatmen began to decorate their boats in preparation for the parade.
，喝了个，你拿上腰的啊。哦，然后还有小小拳、耍钢叉、耍钢叉、钢叉，你转，我们转一口。那么谁要的那个方向叫正面摆摆，进，调动之前把那个钢叉啪摔过去。摔过去，船不是过去了吗？到那边掉下来，知道啪，摔了。哦，还有这个，现在没有了。失传了，没没有了，都听主播讲的。Spear throwing and the buffalo horn spear are unique to boat boxing. Fengsheng Bridge is 9 meters tall and 5.8 meters wide. It's not easy to throw a spear across and catch it on the other side. Most people couldn't master the skill. In fact, it was so dangerous that it was banned in the 1940s. Even Ding has only heard about it from his master. Today's boat boxing show is performed by Ding's students in the hall. Ding is old and says that he won't perform in public anymore. Besides Ho Lei, Ding has dozens of young pupils. He says he might take some of them on as his apprentices. <笑>你呢小姑娘啊你呢我觉得江南传拳呃也蛮简单的只要是只要是学会了就感觉简单了那你学会了吗嗯那你怎么没有去学跳舞啊我我是在轻不学舞蹈的哦你也学舞蹈